news, everybody. We now have a even better reason to keep seawater out of our mouths. A new study has shown that every single time that you swallow a mouthful of seawater while swimming at the beach, you are downing about as many viruses are as there are people in North America. That's disgusting, guys. Why are you doing it? Plus it's seawater, that's, that's really bad to swallow. Um, as of 2015, a study showed that there were in the region of five and a half thousand documented distinct viruses out in our oceans based on genetic data from water samples. Well, that number is a little outdated after another study was released in April following the research schooner Tanner. So Tanner has been cruising around the world tracking water or taking water samples, sorry, from the north to south poles at different depths and they found those same five and a half thousand viruses along with a hundred and ninety thousand more. So that's about 35 times as many as previous believed. So like most biologists, they didn't expect to find that much the further away they got from the equator, but they were still finding viruses up in the Arctic seas. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky and believe it or not, controversial. So viruses are a pain to classify because they keep swapping their DNA with one another and their hosts, and they have a knack of reproducing asexually, so it's not quite as simple as identifying a dog is different from a cat. What's that madness? That being said, once the scientists had identified the discrete populations, 90% of those found were they couldn't be mapped on existing viral taxonomy, making them completely new to science. Now, yes, this is verging on interesting, but there is an actual use for knowing about all of these tiny things living in our oceans. So microbial ecologist Curtis Suttle is looking into the role viruses play in the carbon cycle. While not directly involved in the study, Suttle says that our oceans absorb around half of the Earth's carbon emissions, emissions sorry, and viruses can be manipulated into helping us out with that. Studying phage therapy, where we edit the virus and what it does in life, if we edit some of those hundreds of thousands of viruses out there, they could actually help reduce our CO2 levels. But that's actually how I Am Legend started by editing and releasing modified viruses, so they're probably gonna take it a little bit slow before, you know, something, I don't know, unexpected happens. Yeah, T-virus. Mm, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. So, water is teeming with viruses and different viruses at different depths and temperatures. Uh, does that freak you out a little bit? Should we be using viruses to fix our own problems? Well, I mean, yeah, what is the worst that could happen? Anti-vax, that's what I am. Anti-vaxxer. Anti-vaxxer, I'm an anti-viruser. The Lord will save us all. You heard it here first. Thanks for watching, guys, and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.